Five years ago today, on a cold, windy spring day, stunned residents of Xenia combed through the wreckage of their homes after a devastating tornado. Meteorologist Ben Gelber has visited Xenia, gathered personal stories, tracked the path of that storm. It later reached the Columbus area, Ben. Yeah, and then that's uh, something, Colleen Darlene, that we don't really talk about so much because we focus on Xenia. Now, the half mile wide tornado that struck the city of Xenia on April 3rd, 1974, was the strongest of all the 148 tornadoes reported in 16 hours from Ontario, Canada, Alabama. Now, this is the only known video of a multiple vortex uh, tornado, and it was taken by a 16 year old Xenia student on 8 millimeter film. The storm ended 32 miles later in Clark County. You can actually see how the vortices just kind of come together. And there's a classic hook echo, but of course, we didn't have Doppler radar back then. That funnel then reformed near the Madison County line. The Xenia supercell also spawned a tornado that tore off the dome of the clock tower on top of the Madison County Courthouse in London, preserved by the County Historical Society. The devastation caused by 300 mile per hour winds featured on evening newscasts was shocking as downtown Xenia lay in ruins. About 1,400 homes and buildings were severely damaged or destroyed, many flattened with just a wall or bathroom left standing on a concrete slab. 33 people died, including several on the campus of Wilberforce University. Two large tornadoes also struck the Cincinnati area. Xenia did not have tornado sirens in April 1974. And Today's and spotter and training we'll program, which I participate in every spring with the Weather Service and EMA, grew out of this historic and deadly tornado outbreak. An absolute miracle. No one was hurt in downtown London. Among the stories I posted on our website, a sign was torn off a grain elevator in London. It ended up on a farm in Ontario, Canada. Wow. That was later returned to Shaw Elevator. The final storm in this series, a family of tornadoes, touched down in New Albany. It damaged three homes. Keep in mind, New Albany was different, much more rural right. in 1974. Land. If that storm hit today in F2, where it, we found out where it touched down, it could have been a, a devastating here in Franklin County. I mean, as I'm well. just looking at the video, of course, that's still rolling behind us while you're standing here talking, and it's just amazing. Yeah. And that is the that's only amazing. video, uh, and fortunately, the high school students saw it. The junior high was completely destroyed mm -hmm. where he attended school. The high school became a haven, but it was just an unthinkable uh, storm in terms of size, wow. magnitude, and yeah. tragedy. Yeah, it's incredible. Thanks so much, Ben. Appreciate that.